Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I did a hair and makeup transformation. I wanted to just glow up, you guys. I've been looking real dusty. So I'm gonna show you guys how I installed this wig and then I'm gonna move on to this makeup look, this natural glam. I asked you guys what makeup look you guys wanted to see and a lot of you guys said natural glam. So I hope you guys enjoy this overall look. We're just gonna go ahead and get into this transformation. The wig that I'm gonna be wearing today is from Elfin Hair. This is their 13 by four lace frontal wig in 20 inches texture is straight the lace is HD so I did do a little bit of customizing the hair came in this dark brown color and I dyed it jet black because I just love jet black hair on me I did go in and I bleached the knots and then I put some makeup on top of the lace just to make sure that it melts into my skin also came with this pretty pink iridescent gift bag I would say this is like a wig starter kit this bag pretty much has everything you need to customize a wig so you have your rat tail comb you also have an instructions manual it just tells you what to do to the hair what not to do what products work best with the hair it also came with wig caps y'all was super excited to see that these wig caps are dark brown my skin tone normally whenever I get wig caps they're white and they never blend in with my skin tone but Thank you, Elfin. They actually sent me dark brown wig caps. So I'm super excited about that because I'm probably going to use one in today's video. And a few other things it came with. It came with this really cute hair clip that just says Elfin. It's a bedazzled hair clip that says Elfin. You also have some lashes and an edge brush to do your baby hairs and customize your hairline. I don't do the bald cap method whenever I'm installing my wigs just because I feel like it's unnecessary and I only keep my wigs on for like three days y'all. I don't really like to keep frontal wigs especially on for more than three to five days. I also went in and I plucked the hair. The hairline was pretty full so I did go in and I plucked a lot of it just so it could look really natural. I might still have to pluck it some more. This is how the hairline looks. This is how the lace looks. It looks really good. The lace is very thin. It's blending in with my skin. Of course, I will really know if it blends in with my skin when I glue it on. To make sure I don't cut any of the hair yet, I'm gonna take my Gots To Be Freeze Blast Spray and take my rat tail comb, spray some of it on the comb and then comb all of these stray hairs back so that it just doesn't get cut when I'm cutting the lace. I went off camera and cut off majority of the lace because I really couldn't see what I was doing but this lace is literally the perfect shade for me. Look at how it just melts into my skin. I am using my Ghost Bond Glue. It's really dirty, but I'll have it in the description box for you guys. I'm using the end of my rat tail comb to dig some of that glue out because I am running low on it. Put it right in front of my hairline. Whenever I install my wigs, I only do one coat of glue because I don't keep them on for that long. So there's really no point in doing three to four layers of glue. I apply the glue in sections. So I'm starting in the middle, waiting for that to dry. Then I'm gonna stick the lace on and I'm gonna do the sides. Got the lace all glued on. It looks a little weird right now, like the hairline. But once I do like the baby hairs and stuff, it'll go away. But what I'm gonna do now is take my edge scarf, lay down my lace a little bit more, 
and then i'll see you guys in about five minutes i did my baby hairs off camera so this is how the lace looks get close for y'all i'm trying to show y'all the good side okay this is the good side so the baby hairs it just melts right into my skin and there's that side so what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna flat iron the hair some more and just put in some soft curls So it literally took me like five, 10 minutes to curl my hair. I just, I just don't feel like doing my hair to be honest. So these are the curls. I just did soft curls and I'm gonna comb them out once I'm done with my makeup. Instead of plucking my part to make it straight, I'm just gonna take my MAC lip pencil in the shade Cork and draw a straight line going back. And that's just gonna make my part look neater. This is a very lazy hair day for me, but just draw it straight back like that. And I feel like this color is really close to my scalp color. So that's why I like to just use the pencil. But after I draw the part, then I just take like a beauty blender or a concealer brush and blend it out so that it doesn't look so harsh. So for my makeup, I'm doing a natural glam, everyday go-to makeup look. Honestly, this is the only makeup look that I do, unless I'm doing a video and I wanna do colorful eyeshadow, but this is like my go-to everyday natural glam that pretty much just goes with everything. So first thing I am going to do is take some setting powder from Huda Beauty. This is their Easy Bake Loose Baking Setting Powder in the shade Cinnamon Bun. So I'm taking that with my Real Technique sponge and I'm just putting that all over my face just to keep my face from getting super oily throughout the day. I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows. So y'all, I've been doing something different with my eyebrows. This is a very lazy eyebrow routine, but my eyebrows be looking so good. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I normally do now. So the first thing I do is take some clear mascara or clear brow gel, and I use that to brush up my brow hairs. I need my brows done too, but it's okay just brush them up and this is gonna keep my brow hairs in place so I do that and I wait for it to dry so after that clear mascara dries on my eyebrows I take my Mac mascara this is the in extreme dimension 3d lash mascara in the color black and I take some of this mascara and I just brush it through my brows and this is going to define my brow hairs, make them look darker. So I'm just lightly brushing them through just to make my brows look fuller. Oh, I think I put too much on that side, but I will fix it. Just brushing them through. So now I'm just going to wait a few minutes for the mascara to dry on my brows before I clean them up. My brows are pretty dry. I did add too much mascara on my brows. So I'm just gonna take a spoolie brush with nothing on it and get rid of all of the clumps from that mascara. So I always wait until the mascara is fully dry before I start combing through the clumps because whenever I just comb through the clumps when the mascara isn't dry, it makes my brows look smudgy. So that's not what I want. I'm going to outline my brows with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Rich Cocoa and I'm using my angled eyebrow brush to do so.
So I'm just dragging the concealer away from my brows now with my angled eyebrow brush. And then I'm just gonna blend everything out. So lately I've been using a concealer shade that's real close to my skin tone just because it's easier to blend out. Then I'm just gonna take my Morphe E30 concealer brush to blend out the concealer. For my foundation, I'm gonna use my NYX Born to Glow foundation in the shade Deep Walnut. Y'all really haven't found a good foundation that I like as much as the NYX Born to Glow foundation. I just like the coverage. I love how radiant it makes my skin. I just don't like super mattifying foundations. So if you guys know any good hydrating foundations, but also like oily skin friendly, please let me know. Cause I do want to try out other ones. Um, just the ones that I've tried, I just wasn't a big fan of them. So I always go back to my NYX Born to Glow foundation. To blend out my foundation, I'm just using my Real Techniques foundation brush. I normally always do my eyes first, but I'm gonna be doing my eyes last. There's just a new way that I do my makeup now, and I just like doing my eyes last. And I never thought I would get to this point. I'm using my Huda Beauty Life Liner Eyeliner, and I'm just gonna go ahead and line my waterline before I go in and highlight my face. The concealer I'm using is the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer in the shade Rich Chocolate. I have a change of heart about this concealer. I didn't think it was full coverage, but normally when I let it sit on my face for a little bit I get the coverage that I want now so that's something that I recently discovered I am just applying this concealer underneath my eyes so right in here then I'm gonna do the other side right in here and some here like that I'll do some down here as well under my nose, my chin, and my forehead. Before I blend out this concealer, I'm just gonna let it dry down. Y'all, I feel so awkward today. I don't know what it is, but I just feel really awkward. Like even recording this video, I feel very awkward. <laughs> I think the concealer is dry enough, so I'm going to use my Real Techniques Contour Brush and blend it out. I normally blend out the concealer underneath my eyes last so I can get the most coverage there. But when I'm blending out the concealer, I am just lightly dusting it off with the brush. So I just leave the concealer in the middle of my nose. I just let that sit for a good minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my concealer. I am using the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder in the shade Cool Beige. You guys know I always use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, but I just recently picked this up and I actually really like it. I don't know if I like it better than the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder yet. I'm still trying to see. I'm using a damp, Real Technique sponge to apply the setting powder. And I'm just lightly pressing it into my skin underneath my eyes. On the sides of my nose. And you don't want to go overboard with this setting powder because it will make you look white, especially if you're my skin tone. So I'm actually gonna let that sit underneath my eyes for a little bit. Mm. 
I'm gonna go back to my Huda Beauty setting powder in the shade Cinnamon Bun and I'm gonna put that underneath my cheekbone. So I'm gonna start right here, the corner of my mouth, and just drag it all the way to my ear, so. Ooh, that's a lot. Just going to drag it. This is gonna be my reverse contour. I like this setting powder too. I just feel like I got the wrong shade. Like this setting powder is great to put all over my face and the bottom half of my face. But as a highlighting setting powder, I don't really like to use this underneath my eyes because it doesn't really give me the brightness that I want. But I would definitely buy the setting powder again. I would just get a lighter shade. So I don't let the setting powder on the bottom half of my face sit. I just like to go ahead and blend it out so it doesn't look weird. So I'm just dragging my sponge back and forth until it's blended out. So you just see like that faint line. Moving on to bronzer, I am taking my Revolution Beauty Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium Dark. And I am taking a face brush by Alter Ego. And I'm just putting that in between both setting powders. I'm using this bronzer as a contour, so, but it's very pigmented. So you do want to use a very light hand when applying this. I can already see the line of the bronzer, but it's okay. I'm also gonna put some underneath here. To get rid of that line, I'm taking my Dermablend setting powder with my Morphe 504 brush and I'm just putting some of that setting powder on top of the line just to diffuse it, soften it a little bit so that it doesn't look so harsh. I'm gonna go back to my contour brush from Real Techniques and I'm taking my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder in the shade Dark Deep and I'm using that to dust off my setting powder. The face brush that I just used for bronzer, I'm going to use that brush with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder and I'm using that to dust off the rest of my setting powder all over my face. So everything just kind of blends in together. Now I'm going to blend out the concealer on my nose. This is a medium shadow brush by Real Technique as well. And I'm going to take some setting powder, my Dermablend setting powder, and I'm putting that in the middle of my nose. I'm using a bronzer to contour the sides of my nose as well, but I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Mocha Mommy, just because the Revolution Beauty bronzer is just going to be too harsh on the sides of my nose. So I'm just putting that on the side of my nose bridge, and I'm also going to drag up the bronzer into my eyes and I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 504 brush and I'm gonna soften that line I'm also gonna blend out that setting powder it's in the middle of my nose next I'm going to add some blush so I'm using two blushes today the first one I'll be using is the NARS blush in the shade dominant which is this really pretty pink berry shade that has shimmer and I'm just taking my face brush by Alter Ego and I'm putting that on my cheeks. I'm using a very light hand because this blush really, oh gosh, look at it, it's so pretty. It's just very pigmented, so you just want to use a really light hand when applying this blush. And after I apply that one, I go in with my Beauty Bakery blush in the shade Hey Pumpkin, which is this orange blush. And I just like to mix the two together. So I know that kind of looks like a lot of blush, but once I blend it out, it'll look pretty good. So I'm not really worried about that. I'm using the same brush to blend out the blushes, but I just made sure that I dusted off any of the extra blush that was on the brush. So I just blend it out. This blush is so pretty. I'm still working on the placement of my blush, so I normally have to go back in with my setting powder and put it not necessarily on top of the blush, maybe I would say on the edges of where the blush starts at so that it doesn't look so harsh. I think I just need another 
brush for my blush and I won't have to do this step but I'm just adding some more of that setting powder and I'm gonna go back to that contour brush and I'm gonna blend out that setting powder this time I'm not adding that MAC powder on top of the blush or the setting powder. So I'm taking the Real Techniques shadow brush again with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the shade Dark Deep and I'm just putting that on top of my eyelids. I'm not wearing any eyeshadow. I normally don't do eyeshadow for natural glam. Whenever I'm doing a natural glam I just like to keep it very natural but very glamorous at the same time. So. I don't like to use a lot of color on my face besides the blush. Then I go back into my bronzer, my Revolution Beauty bronzer in the shade medium dark. And I put that on the outer corners just to bring some dimension to my eyes. Let's see here, outer corner, kind of drag it to the inner corner. I am wearing false lashes today, so I'm gonna take my liquid liner. This is the Liquid Last 24 Hour Waterproof Liner by MAC. And I'm just gonna outline my top lash line. I just love how black this eyeliner is. It is super dark, very intense. So while that is drying, I'm gonna go in with my MAC mascara and I'm just going to apply that to my bottom lashes. I love how moist this mascara is as well. It has so much product on the brush whenever you get it out of the tube. And that's what I like when it comes to mascara. I like to decide how much product I need for my lashes. So I feel like sometimes with mascara, I just have a hard time getting out the product. So I'm just taking my mascara from MAC again and I am applying it to my bottom lashes. I went ahead and put on my lashes. The lashes I'm wearing are from Tati Lashes in the style TL10. I know that a lot of you guys always ask what lashes I am wearing. They're more than likely from Tati Lashes because I just love their lashes, but this style is TL10. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my Morphe 504 brush, this fluffy brush, and dust off the setting powder, the middle of my nose, and also blend out the setting powder a little better on the sides of my nose. So everything just blends in pretty well together. I really didn't use that much product on my face. I'm not sure if you guys noticed. Normally I use so much product on my face to get this exact look. I do add a little bit of highlight. So I'm using my MAC Gold Deposit Highlighter, putting some of that on the bridge of my nose, also on my brow bone. And that's really all where I put highlight at. Like that. For my lips, I just use clear lip gloss. I got this from the beauty supply store. This brand is called Broadway. Yeah, Broadway. And this is the Ulta Lip Coconut Oil Clear Lip Gloss. And I just put that on my lip. So I don't do any color for a natural glam. The most color that I have on is going to be the blush. So that's the only reason why I like to add blush because I feel like I need a pop of color, but not for the eyes or the lips, more so for my cheeks. The next thing I'm going to do is just spray down my face with this setting powder, with this setting spray. This is the Pixi Rose Glow Mist, so I'm just going to spray my face down. Just to kind of... I only use this setting spray, y'all, if I'm not wearing my makeup all day. So if I'm not wearing my makeup for more than three hours, I use this setting spray. If I am, I like to use my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray because this setting spray, I love the dewy finish, but if I'm going out and I have to wear a mask, it literally just takes off all of my makeup. Like it just, it does not keep anything in place. I just like how it makes my face look. So. Just the FYI if you guys are thinking about purchasing that setting spray. I'm not used to my forehead looking a little boxy and it still kind of looks boxy, but it doesn't look bad. It's just not how my natural forehead looks like, but I think overall looks good. The lace, you guys, you can see the glue. I'm not a pro, but the lace, look at the lace. You can't even see where the lace starts. And I did not use a ball cap method. But I think I did a pretty good job. 
with the wig. I love how silky and soft it is. Of course, I will have all of the wig details in my description box if you guys are interested in getting this hair. It is very long. It comes all the way down to my rib cage. So it's pretty long. It's 20 inches and I'm 5'7". So that's how long it is on me. I feel a little better now that my hair is done. My makeup came out well. But that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below. And also, happy holidays to y'all. I hope you guys are enjoying the holidays having a great time. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.